guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I am Tangie and with me is my beautiful daughter, Emily. And today we are making desserts for you guys for the Frugal Family Food Thanksgiving Marathon. In case you're new here, I am co-creator of Frugal Family Food along with my good friend, Amanda Bill from The Fundamental Home. And we are really excited that you guys have enjoyed this marathon and we hope that it's gotten you ready for a frugal Thanksgiving. And Emily, why don't you tell them what you're making? I'm going to be making pumpkin pie. I mean, you can't have Thanksgiving without pumpkin pie, so let's get started. All right. So what you're going to need for the pumpkin pie is three eggs, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, or I just made my own with two teaspoons of nutmeg, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves, a fourth a teaspoon of ginger, and a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. Then I just mixed it all together and pumpkin pie spice. You're also going to need a can or 15 ounces of pumpkin puree, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of evaporated milk, and half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and one pie shell unbaked. So let's get started. Grow water, sunshine. So I started by adding the pumpkin into the mixing bowl. Then I went in with the brown sugar and added that into the pumpkin. And at this point, I turned on the mixer and started to get everything going. Then I added the remainder of the dry ingredients, which would be the salt and the pumpkin pie spice. Then I added the heavy whipping cream and evaporated milk. Then I turned the mixer up a little bit and after it blended for a little while longer, I started adding the eggs. And you are going to want to add the eggs one at a time and let the mixture mix a little bit before adding the next egg. After that, you're gonna wanna let this beat on high for about three to five more minutes. After it's done mixing, take a fork and poke some holes into the bottom of the pie shell so that it doesn't get all bubbly. And this is important. After you put it in at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, turn the heat down to 350 and let it bake for another 25 to 30 minutes. That's good. And I don't like pumpkin pie. That's good. And we made good. it all by ourselves. Good job, you Very good. So if you have any questions about these recipes, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. So I will put the link in the description down below from the blog that I found the recipe for this pumpkin pie. Yeah, it's good pie. It's really good pie. Yes, it's absolutely. Really and, you, and you definitely need to try making the uh, your own pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot better. Plus, you don't have as much waste. Yeah, either. Okay, so that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with all of your friends and join our Frugal Family Food Facebook group where we are giving a giveaway today. So be sure to check that out. And please join us again when we share with you our life, our love of liberty, and the pursuit of bacon.